we just had to move on. I I said we lose to to start another day, you know. You lose to fight another day. You lose to s do it if possible in a better way some other day. So congratulations to Nigeria for at least making it to Russia. And congrats. I mean, I, I actually, I love football, as in I love football. And this thing really affected me tonight. In fact, I was feeling, will I be able to talk on radio tonight? But I mean, it's cool. We, my life goes on. And if you can't win <laughs> on the football pitch, you should be able to win in your bedroom. You know, your bedroom is another football pitch. Huh? So if you can't win <laughs> in Russia, win in your bedroom tonight i think sometimes when you are in this kind of situation like when you are not feeling so happy and probably feeling sad and dejected it might be a very good time to make out it might be a good time to you know relax with someone you care about you know lean on someone's shoulder you know and it might be a very good time to make passionate love you know have passionate love making and you know just use that to calm the tension. <laughs> That's one of the benefits of lovemaking. Uh, so you are welcome to my show tonight. Let's just put that aside. I mean, four year, another four years is just around the corner. And I actually think those guys tried, really. Because I think Argentina was coming with like, you know, it's a do or die thing. I, I, I just, I, I, I really wish we, uh, Argentina w was the first team we played with, really. So it's like, Nigeria is like, they, all their mozu. They want to show it, you know, on Nigeria. They want to prove everything, you know. So they had a lot at stake, just like we do. And I, I, I mean, Argentina being whom they are, it, it, it's, it's, in fact, but I felt bad because, I mean, 85 minutes, I think, you know. But I think our guys tried, really. They deserve an applause. I don't want, I don't expect people to. And where I was watching, it was, oh my, oh my jacket, now is smelling cigarettes. <laughs> where I was watching, you know. People were already, at around 75 minutes, people were already dancing, you know. They weren't even, a, and the crowd was so much, people were dancing. I was like, we still have like 20 minutes to go, guys. Can you guys just calm down, you know, let's watch this match. And then as soon as, man. But guys, just relax. Like I said, if you can't win on the football pitch, go to your bedroom with another football pitch. Go and win there, all right? So you're welcome to my show tonight. And uh, of course, if this is your first time of tuning in, probably you are stumbling. I've been getting that a lot these days. People telling me, oh, I was just scrolling through my TV and I stumbled on intimate talk with, with Dr. Tolu. And I was like, wow, what's this? And you know, there's one thing about this show. When you pay attention for a few seconds, you get stopped. You get hooked. You know, it's, it's, it's because, I mean, what we talk about on this show is something that affects people's life and nobody want to talk about it. Even in developed world, I follow a lot of sex therapists on social media. You know, I have, I'm in a lot of group, a lot of um, uh, associations and, you know, people that talk about sex a lot. You notice that even in developed, even though they are far, 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 far ahead of us, but still talking about sex is still something that is also still, you know, with a little bit of reservation. Not to talk of Nigeria, where everybody seems to be very holy, very religious. You wonder, is even having the sex you, you sometimes you see people and you wonder how they get pregnant because it's like nobody want to talk about sex nobody is having sex and you know the w women want to pretend that you know don't know whether it's pretend but they want to appear very holy very religious also that everybody goes oh oh sister bc oh sister grace you know she's so holy she's so i mean <laughs> And then the man, you know, it's very funny, really. It, it's a trend that I've seen. And you notice that the men, eh, I'm going to be talking about that, you know. Men want ladies who are good in bed, you know. But somehow, they flow along with, you know, the pretentious wife, you know, why they know that they are missing this. It, it's, 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 it's just a sad situation in Nigeria. Anyway. So the point is, what intimate talk with Tolu talk about is something that a lot of people are afraid to talk about, but a lot of people are being affected. People are going through. I mean, when I see issues, I, sometimes, you know, I feel like, wow, people are going through so much. 
and I wish we could have sex therapists everywhere. I wish people could actually be able to, I mean, even the few we have, normally on the good day, I should be having like 30 clients a week under normal circumstances. But, so the point is, we need more sex therapists, but even the few we have, people are not talking. People can't come out and talk about their sex life, you know, so they would rather keep quiet and be dying in silence. All right, so tonight, like I said, this show is doing a lot. And at the end of the day, it's not about making you to feel good. Don't mind um, Mr. Yenana, you know, that was saying the way Dr. Tulu talked about vagina, the way he talk, she talked about penis. Fine, you know. I, I remember somebody was asking me when I did a, a broadcast this evening, you know, send the flyer of what I want to talk about. Somebody was asking me, I ah, like Dr. Tulu, how do you even talk about all these things without feeling, you know, without laughing, without, and I said, this is, this is a serious matter, actually. It's not, that's why when I go out, I go out to speak a lot. I speak in churches, I speak in meetings, I speak in, a, you know, as guest speaker. When I talk, it's not child's play, it's not jokes, it's not, it's not comedy, you know, uh, before, uh, then, you know, when I talk, people keep quiet because, I, I take it with all seriousness, and of course, I'm passionate about this. I, I have noticed that. Thing. I mean, sometimes I wonder why are they so quiet. And later I found out because it's because I talk about this with all seriousness. It's not shy place. It's not something to laugh about. That's why you can't just see Doctor Tulu and say, "Oh, even if you are coming with your oh, ah, Doctor Tulu, the sex Doctor," I mean, it's not it's not shy play. This is good business. This is serious issue. All right. So if you are just joining up for the first time, uh, uh, you know, you are, you are lucky to be here. You are lucky to stumble on this show tonight. And you, you will be doing a lot of good if you have friends. You've been doing them a lot of good. You have families. You have people you care about. Everybody, everybody, in fact, everybody who is above 18 should be part of Intimate Talk with Tulu. Now, because everyone, you notice that most of the problem, you're talking about depression, talking about people planning to commit suicide, talking about anger, talking about anxiety. Go and find the basis of most of the problem, emotional issues that people are going through. You will find out that they are tied to their relationship. You know, the place of man, you know, I said a lot of time, that the place of a man and a woman, it's something that <laughs> you kind of understand. It's, it's so powerful. It affects the whole of your being. So that is why this is no shy play. This is no shy. And I was talking to someone, you know, within the week, and I told the person, no sex, no marriage. Forget it. Now, that could be ambiguous, but the point I'm trying to make is, if your sex life is zero, my sister or my brother, it might be very difficult to get it right in your marriage. All right, so you want to call your friends, you want to call your family, you want to tell them to tune into this station. I will be doing my best, you know. I don't want to rush. I'm trying, you know. Every time I come to this show, I don't want to rush, but there's so much to talk about at the time. So what I will just do is do my best, even if I can't complete it. Let me just take the little I can. Then probably on Thursday, we conclude the topic. All right, so my name is Dr. Tulu. I'm a clinical relationship and marriage counselor, and I'm a trained sex therapist. And I'm a matchmaker. I help people to find solution to their emotional problem that has to do with their relationship, marriage, and sex life. I help people to bring back the spark in their bedroom, enjoy their sex life to the fullest. It is a gift. Funny enough, sex is the gift that God has given unto you. Explore and make the best of it. So if you are not enjoying it, you are not living up to God's expectation, really. Married, all right? So tonight... Thank you for joining me. And of course, tell people you care about. You can send them. I mean, internet has made everything so easy. And of course, if you have people who are probably out of the country who cannot watch this show, you could tell them to join me on Facebook. All they need to do is to search out for Nigeria Info on Facebook, um, Nigeria Info 99.3, and join me. Let me get the right, um, let me get the right address for that. Okay. Um... The right address is, is, is uh, Nigeria Info FM, you know, Nigeria Info FM 99.3 um, on Facebook. Search out for that and join me live. And of course, you could watch me, even if you don't have DSTV, you could watch me on um, um, Free to Hair. You could also watch me on DSTV channel 259, all right? So tonight I'm going to be talking about the difference between making love and having sex. Love making and sex. I did the same thing. I mean, people usually use these two terms together. And it's, it's as if we're having sex, we're making love. 
there's no big deal and both are the same all right so i'm going to be talking about is there any difference between having sex and, make, and making love is it that um you could be having sex and you feel everything is good is it that you could be making love and you don't need to have sex so let me because you know over i mean i've been doing this 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 thing i do i've been practicing for about 12 years now you know i'm professionally for about seven years you know so um people uh <laughs> for the, it, the trend i've seen is you know when i say that on this show people want to tell me dr tolua how are you generalizing the fact is nigerian men i say it a lot of time that nigerian men don't know how to make love to their women and funny enough they want to do you know they want to i said i have said that a lot on this show that you want to be a saint when you are home and then when you get to the hotel room with one girl who just want to collect money from you you become a tiger who can go five six seven eight rounds but at home you are you are just there all right so a lot of things could actually be uh could, could actually cause that but tonight i will be talking about what is the difference are you having sex in your marriage or you're just or you are you making love I, 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 is it is it hot spicy is it is it interesting is it is it is it sensual is it is it is it emotional is it slow is it is it reassuring you know so i'm going to be talking about that what's the difference do people of course like i said when people come to me for sex therapy i've seen the trend in couples that most couples are just having sex and they are not making love and they actually think they are doing the right thing so tonight let's roll as we talk about this of course i know i can't com conclude this tonight because i will be taking your question at the end of the show so let's just run through it and see how far we could go tonight she can help you rekindle the flames of love the flames of love dr tolu the fixer Earlier, I'm going to be talking about the difference, like the difference between making love and having sex, love making and having sex what is the distinction what's the difference between the two are they the same uh, are people who think they are doing it and who doesn't even understand the difference between the two are they doing it the right way all right okay people mix these things up actually and like i said i've seen that and when i talk to you on this show i need you to get it right of course i do a lot of research i read but even if you go to google and download certain things if you don't have experience, if you, have the, if you don't have understanding of those things, you just be wasting your time. All right. So my talking to you is not just out of uh, maybe basically only research. It's out of research, it's out of experience, what are, out of what I have seen in couples, you know, over the years that I've been practicing as a sex therapist. All right. So I've seen this a lot of time and, and people mix these things up. And majorly there are three reasons why I think people mix this up this of I, I i there is one I, the first thing i think i'll call it pretense you know i say that a lot of time you know people pretend you know because like i said before people want to people believe that you know if i don't know too much about sex it's going to be a virtue it's a plus for me if I mean, it, it will make the man, especially for the female folks, it will make the man to think I am very holy, I'm a wife material because I don't know so much about sex. And no thanks to the men as well. You won't blame the women because this is, uh, this is actually a trend. Men al always, I mean, I talked about, um, <laughs> I talked about, uh, what, what, there's a joke I talked about on this show, Afro Baby. You know, I don't want to go into that, but I've talked about it on this show. You know, you want to taste this, taste this, taste this, taste everybody, and then you are looking for somebody who has never been tasted. Who does that? You know, I mean, what you, I mean, you should get somebody, I mean, that's, that's just natural. It's logical that the person you should get should be someone like you. After tasting, 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 and then you now go and be looking for someone who, who is very cha-cha, you know. So the point is, 
people pretend because of the expectation of the society people expect that you are very holy you are very virtuous you are as soon as long as you don't know about sex so even if they know they pretend that is one of the reasons why people try to mix up uh, sex with love making so even if the partner is not doing it the right way even if the other probably you are the one that knows and your partner doesn't know you just play along and act like everything is fine because you are pretending and another thing is 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 out of ignorance you know when it comes to sex eh, you know because i asked this question where and how do people know how to make love how do you learn how to make love you know because people can't give me answer to that because what the only thing you learn you think you know how to do the only thing you can that comes like maybe is uh, there is uh how do i put it now intuitive you know something that happened to you you know through your intuition it's it's just like out of out of sex you know that you put the penis in the vagina and you have sex everybody even teenagers these days they go online they read about those things it's no big deal you know, but when we are, you are talking about love making, you need skill. You need to graduate from penetration and move further before you could be talking about love making. So I'm going to be coming to this. So ignorance. People don't understand all this. Is one of the reasons why people mix sex and love making together. Another thing is pride, and, and pride is common with, with men actually because the fact is, I mean, I've said that a million times on this show that men's sexuality is attached to their ego. So a man doesn't want to appear not knowing the right thing. So he wants to appear like, oh, I know it. I know where to touch. And, and you know, funny enough, I've seen a lot of issues. You see a man saying, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah you know. Probably the, the, okay, so probably the, the um the friends maybe they're in the midst of their friends and they are talking like ah, i don't know you know my wife is complaining she's not enjoying sex and all. you tell her they will tell her touch the clitoris now you know just touch the clitoris you know and the man and touching the clitoris they are saying touch they touching this clitoris you need skills it's not something you just touch and rub anyhow you know i talked about the fact that the clitoris is made up of about eight thousand nerve ending even as a man you can understand that the cap of the penis it's made up of about 4,000 nerve endings. Now imagine a place that has 8,000. So you can imagine how sensitive that place will be. Imagine how sensitive the cap of the penis is. Now compare it with times two of that sensitivity. And then you, because your friends say, just touch, just touch, and then you touch your hand, go, 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 go. you think? So it's beyond what your friends are saying. So because of pride, you are not open to learning. You are not open to understanding the difference between all these things. Another reason why people mix up um sex with love making all right now um another issue is everything that most people know about sex or about love making whatever they think it is they're learning from porn and these days you see people they, they are talking about i want to learn how to make love they say ah, go and watch pornography now go and watch pornography i'm going to be talking about should couple you see when i pick a topic on this show i i'm not talking i talk like i said i've explained why i mean where from the angle I'm coming from. But beyond that, at the end of the day, a counselor doesn't impose his or a belief on people. So at the end of the day, see your choice. You could decide to say, oh, Dr. Tolu, that thing you are saying, ah, it's not for me. You know, it's your choice. You know, that's why when people, I, I don't expect everybody to agree with me, your experience could be different because when it comes to this kind of issues, it, it, there is, people are unique. That is why when you call me here, for an issue, I want to tell you that come on, come for a private counseling, come for one-on-one -on -one counseling because, you know, at the end of the day, you need, I need to analyze. I need to analyze that particular issue and find out where you are coming from. So the point is, people are unique. That's why, you know, in grief and bereavement counseling, there is something about the fact that, you know, we say that um, loss, loss is universal, but grief is unique. Now, what that means is that um, people, everybody could lose something or someone, lose your job, lose a loved one, lose something very special, lose, I mean, change of accommodation. You could be attached to the former house. You know, people lose something. But people react differently. That's why you see some people will be crying, some people will keep quiet, some people will just be looking, some people will become dumb. People doesn't, some people will not even want to talk to anyone. That's because people are unique people react differently so that is why you can't generalize you can't you know expect everybody to to act the same way so 
Now, when you now, I don't know how I digress to that point, but the point is, when you, I mean, I mean, considering the way <laughs> um, porn is, is, you don't even need to look for it. It will find its way to you now. It's everywhere. Information is right on your face. Porn is right on your face. You know, so considering that a lot of people have wrong. Okay, I was talking about the father. I'm going to talk on this show about. The, 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 there's a topic I actually have. I call it should couples use pornography. I actually didn't say whether it's good or bad. At the end of the day, when I talk about it, then you make up your mind on what you want to do. You know, it could work for Mr. A and this, and might not work for Mr. B. So should couples use pornography? Should you use pornography to, you know? Um, spice up your sex life and all that I'm going to be talking about that one of these days when I talk about that topic so the point is a lot of what people think they know about sex they learn from pornography which could give a very wrong impression alright now you see when you talk about love making you know a, 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 a man needs to get to a level you know where your erection becomes an instrument of expression for deep affection that's the way i put it you know your erection becomes an instrument of expression for a deep affection so your erection is not just about physical act it is deep and it's an expression of what you are feeling deeply inside all right now it, it, it's, it's not supposed to be mechanical you know, just like I want to satisfy my urge, all right? Now, that is, this is actually the major reason why, why most women will never enjoy sex, all right? Or experience orgasm, because mechanical sex doesn't cut it for women. Me me mechanical sex can hardly, because women are emotional in nature. There's no two way about it. So, that's why when it comes to lovemaking, that emotion must flow in. And that is why mechanical sex, you could hardly see a woman wanting to put her, you know all right so he hardly caught it for women now there is there is there is a guy who, 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 who said a lot who wrote something about about different types of sex but i don't know if i should read that through to you but i don't think there's any need for that all right so now um what is sex so i would just say sex is 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 is, is a physical act okay it's a physical and probably mechanical act, you know, of trying to fulfill your phys uh, sexual, uh, I mean, sexual need, you know, satisfy your urge. I would call sex that. But I would define lovemaking as a slow, sensual, reassuring, and overwhelmingly connecting act. You know, lovemaking is an act, you know. It is slow. It is sensual. It is reassuring. And it is overwhelmingly connecting. And it makes you feel so connected to another person as if your body, your soul, your mind are one. You see, I would say love making is spiritual because it brings what is spir spiritualism or spiritualism. Spiritualism is not really about religion. You know, spiritualism, it's 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 about you know your belief. And I would say love making is spiritual because it brings an unexplainable level of oneness. You know, that is why it's so intense. You know, the, the connection between a man and a woman when they make love, it's, it's so intense and it's unexplainable. It's deep. Come on. It's sensual. It's reassuring. It's, it's, it's overwhelming. It's something that takes the whole of your being and is beyond physical mechanical act of having sex i hope you get that so now let me run through this so i could talk about maybe give you like eight points before before you know my time runs out so we could now probably answer your questions all right so now this is there's a point i need you to get here now even though couples who are truly in love who are, who are truly in love and involved in the act of love making can have sex all right but if your relationship is all about sex and no act of love making, then this decision with this thing I'm going to talk about will perfectly suit you. Now, what I'm saying is this. Now, it doesn't now mean that 
if you had maybe most of the points, most of the description of sex that I'm going to be talking about tonight, it doesn't mean that if you are doing that, you are not in love, all right? But if that is all you do and you don't do any act of love making, then there could be a problem, all right? So it's possible to be in love, to make love, to be married, to make love, and also have sex. Now, I tell people a lot of time that love making should not be orgasm based. It shouldn't be about, um, I want to come, I want to come, I want to come. For men, at least definitely you're going to come. Um, or, 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 except people are, you know, have an issue with uh, delayed ejaculation, you're going to come. But for women, I can't go into that. I said that a lot, that it's more complicated. Now, as a woman, if you now set your mind on, I want to come, I want to come, I want to come, it might, in fact, your love making might be moving to having sex if care is not taken so sometimes you could you could it doesn't have to be you know all the process or you know all the act of love making it doesn't really have to be all that it might just be that you want to have a quickie sometimes i want to call sex a quickie now the difference between sex and a quickie is the fact that um um quickie is is like let's just do it no 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 you know and sex is um it could take longer it could take longer than because a quickie will take a shot because you could have sex for a long time all right just be jerking and be jerking and it's all about that so now so the point is i hope you get that you could still have sex even when you're in love all right now but it becomes a problem if all you do in your marriage is have sex and then so let's talk about what is the difference so the first thing i'll say is sex is purely physical why love making involves a lot of emotional connectivity you know there, there is a philosopher and his name, his name is alan goldman he says sexual desire for contact with another person's body and for the pleasure which such contact which such contact produces is is it's um it's sex all right now what what he's trying to say is when you have sex it is all about the genitals it is all about I think that's another point I wrote. I don't know. Maybe I'll get to that. But when you have sex, it's all about the vagina, the penis, probably the breast, you know, the, you know, the point of arousal. When you have sex, it's all about that. But when you make love, it connects your body, your soul, your mind, your being, your whole being. You can't pull yourself away, you know. So the first thing I, I, I'm trying to talk about is that Sex is purely physical. But love making involves, of, uh, involves a lot of investment of your emotion, your being, your, you know, you want to, see, the way everything, you know, I, I'm going to talk about, uh, on this show, I'm going to talk about, you know, uh, making love with your five senses, all right? In fact, if, if you want to make love, your five senses must be involved. As in, that's one of the difference between love making and having sex, all right? Your five senses must be involved if you uh, make it love. But you don't need all that if you want to have sex. I mean, when you make love, you make love with your eyes. You look at the, at the person you care about. You, you, want to, you want to look at his face. You want to look at her face. You want to see how they are feeling when they make love to you. You know? And most time, those, those uh, pictures, you know, get talked to your brain. All right? Then you want to make use of your mouth, you know. I mean, that's another the sense of taste. You want to taste them. That's why, I mean, those of us, if I, <laughs> those of us that, I remember that I went to speak in a church. And I mean, for those of us that are very religious, that's why I'm just diverting to say this. I remember I went to speak in a church. And my topic was, was the analysis of the book of Solomon. You need to listen. I don't know if I have that. I think I have the audio somewhere. It was you need to understand what was going on, you know. When you talk about eating and tasting, everything I dare in the book of Solomon, all right? So, the point is, you need to understand how to make use of your sense of taste, your mouth. And then your, 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 and your mouth is not just about eating and tasting, it's also for talking, you know. And women need to understand i mean i said that a lot on this show that what you say matters a lot when you are making love because the man want to feel like he's doing something the man want to feel like he's 
it's 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 all about erection and male ego they are bread and butter you can't separate them erection becomes zero if the ego is deflated do you understand all right so now the point is having sex is all about bodily contact but the love making is totally beyond the body so i was talking about okay before i forget talking about using your mouth talking about the, the sense of touch that's your skin then the touch the ten, sen, sense of smell all right and then i think that that's that's basically it smell sight hearing of course you want to hear all those things i'm talking I, I talked about when you say those things even to a women also want to hear sometimes men feel like oh is it, it, it uh, i'm a man now do i need to talk you know it's women fine it, it affects the uh, the uh, male folks the more but the truth of the matter is women also women also want that all right okay so sex is purely physical but love making is totally beyond the body sex is all about the genitals you know but love making involved the all of your being number two sex is purely mechanical i talked about that earlier right why love making is genuine and unforced when i say mechanical it doesn't mean that you're not going to kiss but the kissing the necking the pecking the smooching if you are doing all that when you are having sex it's all about fulfilling your personal pleasure it's all about the bodily pleasure. What this means is that as soon as a person is done, the, pers the partner doesn't necessarily have to mean anything to him or her. Now, you know what that means? When you have sex with somebody, even if you smooch, you do some of the things that, which I'm go still going to talk about, probably not tonight, it, it properly is part of um, lovemaking. Even when you do all that, it's still going to be mechanical as long as, it is all about bodily pleasure, all right? And what it means is that as soon as you are done, you are with that person, you don't want to have conversation with that person. You don't want to listen to her emotion. You don't want to talk with her. You don't want to spend time with her. You don't, have to, you don't want to have lunch with her. You don't, you know, lovemaking sometimes could involve the two of you just sitting together and be looking at each other's eyes. The two of you just touching each, each other. The two of you just, you know, it's a, a kind of, you know, some bodily unexpected bodily touch you know a, a grab you know you grab the ass let me not say ass maybe bomb you grab the bomb you steal a kiss you look at your partner's eyes you sit down to you talk you plan the person has a, a, a burning issue in their mind and you're able to listen to the person you know all these are involved you you care so much about the person beyond the body but if it is sex as soon as you are done you know, and there's nothing that kill. That is why, you know, two people could be in a relationship, married or whatever, and one you are having sex, one person is having sex while the other party is making love. One person could, because as soon as you are out of that place, the person who is having sex stop thinking about you. The person stop thinking about you. It doesn't matter. Whatever you share in that place is done. is gone or she's gone. But for somebody who is making love to you, she can't or he can't get it out of his or her mind. All right. And then number three. Now, you don't need to be in love with someone to have sex with them. OK, but one cannot truly really experience great love making without love. Now. There, there's a common saying that men need just a place to have sex. Why women need reasons to have sex. It's a very common thing. And th there's another one that says that a man doesn't need to be in love with you to have sex with you. Maybe, maybe that's outdated now. Because girls, I mean, ladies of this day, they don't even care. They don't need to have... You know, there's something, there's a trend I'm seeing now among... I mean, recently I'm seeing among young couples, you know. I see that. The way ladies take marriage these days, they don't care. They can walk away. I mean, it's not the way we... I mean, if you are 40... And above, forget it. The way you see marriage is not the way the the 20s and the 30s, especially let's say between 25 and 32 now, or 25 to no, 30, let's say 25 to 32. Yeah, those generation, <laughs> I, I I even fear for the ones that are coming behind. The way they see marriage, 
you misbehave. You know, so all this about women, women, don't forget it. All right. So even a woman this day doesn't need to be in love with you to have sex with you. They just live with you. And that's why I tell some guys, you know, some men that, you know, you want to, you want to cheat on your wife. And then you, you went to make love and the babe, you know, you need your ego to be rubbed very well. And she's saying, oh, ah, you are doing it. You did give it to me and all that. And you think you are doing something. It's do, she's doing, she's doing all that because she, you, it doesn't really, if you, you can't be so, so, I mean, unless there are crises or there are problems that you need to deal with in your sex life, which is actually also very common. But if there is no problem that you need to deal with your se deal with in your sex life, and then you come to, and then you still you are still the same person, and then you come to the hotel and somebody is ailing you, forget it. It's because she wants your money. All right. So the point is, you don't need to be in love with someone to have sex with them. But when you want to experience great love making, you want to make love, you want to really get down, you want to be involved, you need to be in love with that person. It's, it can't be, it's going to be sex. Do you understand? It can't be that deep. Now, it will be okay to cause sex and not of loveless, uh, loveless making out, all right? It's going to be an act of, you know, you could call it an act of loveless making out if you think, you know, um, uh, if you want to call it another name, that's what I'm trying to say. It's going to be an act of loveless making out, all right? And then number four, sex is your partner as objects. You know, it's all about, oh, the boobs, oh, the ass, oh, the big pennies, oh, this, the, uh, what do you call it, the six packs. It's all about that. You know, the sex, sex is partners as objects, but love making sees partners as a person, you know, the pe you see, when it comes to love making, the person is making love to the person, not the body. But when it's about sex, the person is making love to the body and not the person. I hope you get that. It's totally different. You are making love to the look. You are not making love to the being, all right? It's all about using and dumping without any attachment when it comes to having sex. You know, this is the reason why some African men usually argue against sex ties, all right? You see, let me say this. In fact, I need to say this. You see, some African men will say, ah, I can't, I mean, I had a client like that. I was shocked. It was like, ah, no, I can't. I mean, you are cheating on this woman with different girls. Because, and you are saying, ah, because they know how to do it now, because they are good now. And then what about your wife? You are saying, ah, I cannot raise her leg go. Ah, I cannot use her the way I'm using. And I was like, ah, are you for real? You know? And this is, this is the, this is actually a, a ignorance. I call this ignorance and an act of misconception. You know, for you to believe that if you see any girl outside, you can use her anyhow, you can tumble her, you can raise her leg, you can do it from the back, you can flip her. But when is your wife? No, let me just do it small, small, small. For what? For what? At the end of the day, you are cheating on this same person. Come on, do those things with her. It's out of ignorance to be thinking that way. All right? It is okay to practice this as together once in a while, as long as love, even, I mean, love is involved. You should, every woman, I said this and I don't know if I wrote it somewhere, should be a lady in the streets and a freak in the bedroom. Men that are pretending that they don't like you, they are just pretending. You should be a lady that, you know, when you walk in the street, you are the cool, you know, like Dr. Tolu, you know, send Dr. Tolu, you know, cool, calm, well put together. But when you get to the bedroom, you, you want to make love. You get down. You know, men that are cheating and saying, I don't want to overuse my wife. And you are cheating. Come on. I mean, think about it. It's act. It's an act of ignorance. All right. And then number five says it's selfish. But love making put the satisfaction of the partner first. Sex is majorly about self-satisfaction. It is all about you. But sex, sex is, uh, uh, but, but uh, for love making, it is about the satisfaction of the partner. All right? Now, maybe I should explain this. Uh, it's technical, but I just hope you could get it. Now, some men that are having, it's a common scenario, as in, when you go out, you can have sex and you have erection and you can last for as long as you want. But when you come home, when you want to sleep with your wife, erection disappears. Very, very common scenario. Now, this might actually not be the reason, but it could be part 
of the reason. Now, the point is, you see, when you are in love with someone, that's the point I'm trying to make. Their satisfaction comes first. Now, if their satisfaction comes first, so when you want to make love, imagine, think about it. The man is saying, I want to make sure my wife enjoys sex to the fullest. And the woman is saying, I want to make sure my husband enjoy it's not just about technical love making it's about and making out um, enjoy sex to the fullest the woman is saying and you, the two of you are meeting at the same level you understand what that means now but if you love someone now and you are worried about the satisfaction come first and you don't know how to balance this it could get to a point all right where uh the desire to satisfy I mean, the desire to satisfy or the pressure for performance, you know, the desire to satisfy or the pressure for performance could affect your erection. So you could link this together. All right. And so sometimes I wish women can look at it from this angle. So when your husband is trying to make love to you, instead of getting worried and getting agitated and getting sad and, you know, making the man to look you know, small and incapable. If you can understand that maybe this man is under pressure because he's in love with you. He wants to prove to you that he cares so much about you. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, that could be part of the reason. But the point is, sex is selfish, but love making put is, it is not like, oh yeah, come, 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 oh yeah, lie down, lie down, lie down, then put you, jack, 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 and then you come, and then mm, you sleep over, and you are making, and the woman is looking at you like, what the heck? That is sex. When you want to make love, you make sure that she's satisfied. All right? Then number six, I think this is where I will stop. All right? Okay, or maybe I should do one more or two more. Okay, love making evolve foreplay, you know, that gradually build to climax. But sex doesn't give a damn, you know. Love making evolves foreplay that gradually build into climax. Sex doesn't give a damn. Love making want to start from appealing to your mind, sending you text messages, babe. I missed you, babe. I can't wait to get down with you. Love making start from that. Love making start from caring about you, appealing to your emotional needs, about caring about things you care about, about worrying about you, about buying you a gift. I mean, buying you gifts, about doing everything that makes you happy. This is in both. For both party now, all right. Love making doesn't just start during the act. It is only sex that starts there and there. Love making starts from the way you say goodbye in the morning. That's why I tell men: if you want to make love in the night, you are looking forward. Men, actually, you are looking forward to sex in the night. You better be nice in the morning, because love making for women start from the morning even for the men you know most of the time we just think that ah, ah, is he not a man is it not for him to come in we come now we always come it's beyond always come sex also needs to be quality for a man all right so sex doesn't give a them but love making want to gradually build you know from everything emotions being worried about the other party, connecting to your emotional needs, you know, and then from the way you look at the person, from the way you have the person to dress or undress. Not that, you know, I, I mean, it's one of the things I wrote down. If it's love making, you, I mean, it's a common saying that before you have sex, you, you have, help each other, pull each other's clothes. As soon as you are done, it, everybody is back to there, you know. So you have to be the one to struggle to wear your clothes together. Your, I mean, to wear, wear your clothes by yourself, all right? So love making involves a lot of foreplay. It builds gradually. It's not rush, 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 rush. It's slow. It, it's like worship. It's like it's like a three. I think I will talk about that. You know, on Thursday. It's like a three course meal. All right. It's like worship. It, you take your time. You 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 get lost in it. That's the word. All right. And then let me end with my number seven, so I could take your call. You know, love making to be able to make love. You need to be vulnerable. That's my number seven. To be able to make love, you need to be vulnerable. But I'm, having sex doesn't require that much effort. You don't need all that. Having sex, you know, just raise your gown and, <laughs> and do it. You are done. All right? You are not conscious about what the person thinks about you. 
you are not conscious about you know um whether the person love you or not you are not assured you know this you see All right, so the point here, there's, there's a point I'm trying to make here, and I just, I'm thinking maybe uh, you guys are going to get what I'm trying to say, but the point is, you need to be vulnerable. Now, vulnerability means have me. You know, it means take me. It means do with me whatever you want to do without holding anything back. Especially for the female folk, women can't get to that level unless they're emotionally connected. For a man, men, even when they're emotionally connected, <laughs> vulnerability is not so easy for men. But when a man is in love with you, making love to you, the man becomes vulnerable. The man is not thinking, he just want to he just want to get lost. He just want to be with you. He's not conscious of how am I looking? Oh, how am I doing it? Oh, am I vulnerability? It's it's about have me do with me anyhow you want it you know without holding anything back that will not happen with sex that will only happen with love making all right so let's say i'm going to stop there tonight i have like 30 points but i think i'll just leave it at 15 so maybe i'll do seven on thursday then we could we could um move on from this particular topic but I think you have been able to understand that sex is different from love making. And most of you that are married that are listening to me, what you have been doing is having sex. And when you have sex, what that means is that, in fact, there, I'm, I'm going to be talking about the bonding hormone. I've talked about that. I, I don't think there's any need. I've talked about that a lot. It's just that I know that a lot of people are joining us for the first time. But the truth is, there are a lot of benefits of making love, of really getting down. And that is why most of the problem you guys are battling with in your relationship, or I mean in your marriage, is as a result of the fact that you don't get down the real way you should. You keep having sex all the time. It is all about you. Selfish. Very selfish. You know, it's, it, it, you don't think about the other party. It's all about, yeah, lie down, let me come. And most of the time, you just want to do it. It has to be your position because this is the position I like. Love making won't do that. That is about sex. This is the position that is convenient for me. And you are, you are, you are using one style for 10, 15, 20 years of marriage. And you still stay like that. When you want to make love to someone, it's all, it is no longer about you. It is about the other party. And probably you might examine your marriage have you been having sex or have you been making love all right so i will be taking your calls now just tell me what you think about the topic your opinion and if you have any issue that is bothering you if it's about your, your relationship if it's about your sex life especially your sex life just talk to dr tolu here you can get professional tips the one i can't answer in a minute or two i'll tell you to schedule an appointment and come to the office all right so um all you need to do is call me and let's talk about this all right she's blunt real and practical she is a professional clinical counselor sex therapist and excellent matchmaker Join Dr. Tolu, the fixer, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Nigeria Info. Call us on 0127709930127719930127729930 0127729930 and 0127739930 This is Nigeria Info we are listening This message is for you if you answer yes to any of these statements you have passion for helping people. You are worried about the mental state of people around you. You are gifted in the area of counseling. Or you think you are passionate about counseling. You want to learn how to be a professional clinical counselor. You want to get certified and accredited as a professional counselor. You want to be able to be fulfilled 
as a professional counselor. Wait no more. You need to join the July classes of the Institute of Counseling in Nigeria, the number one, the first ever counseling institute in Africa. Your society needs you. You need to wake up. It is time for you to start living your dream. All you need to, reg to do is to register www.instituteofcounselingng.org. I take it again, Institute of Counseling, ng.org. Or you can call or WhatsApp the Institute on 090-948-12983. I take it again, 090-948-12983. You can help you rekindle the flames of love. The flames of love. Dr. Tolu, the fixer. Call us on 0127709930127719930127729930 0127729930 and 0127739930 This is Nigeria Info we are listening Hello Hello doctor Good morning good morning sir Good morning you uh, want, uh, actually, what I have to discuss with you right here, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's never an issue anyway, but I believe I should just share it with you. If it's not because, an issue, <laughs> I know a lot of people uh, have it's issues. It's not an issue, it's something I can handle myself. Okay. Anyway, let me just say this. All right. I'm a married man. Okay. Anyway, but I discovered that whenever I'm making love with my wife, he doesn't appreciate me having a Samaritan sex. Because I have that at the back of my mind. I don't need to go out. I'm with her. Just, but when he, when when it comes to when I feel like having sex with that, mm. it's not always ready for me. I don't know whether you get what I'm saying. The okay. I'm having, She's always she prefers, saying no. Yeah, she prefers sleeping on. Okay, she's always accepting. saying no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a, so you say it's not a problem. Uh, but but me, I'm thinking as a man, just like you said, the man and his ego. Mm. Then I'm thinking she should be there for me when I'm in, in need of it. Since she she, she can't be doing it for you all the time. Day. Maybe she's not enjoying it. She can't be doing and it for you all the time. She also want to feel like a woman. There are not, you see, there are lots of reasons why women won't enjoy sex. I think I've talked about that on this show. That's why I would have appreciated it as much as a week now for us to both listen to your program. It would have helped. And, and most time, what people do is when you listen to this show, you know that they're, because in this part of the world, there are certain so many that couples are going through, they can't even talk to themselves about it. So, I mean, this show could help. All you need to do is just tell, babe, listen to this show. So, so, so time, I think it's going to help. All right. And if they listen, they, they will want to listen. They will actually want to listen. So, probably it will save you a lot of headache of what you will have been explaining or maybe I mean most time when people listen to my show after the show couples sit down to talk you know maybe this will have been like, so maybe probably you can tell her to listen on Thursday maybe it will open up a lot of things that you are not you don't even know is going on in your marriage all right thanks yeah thanks for calling hello hello Good morning. Good morning. Y your name, Dr. please. Dr. Louis, Mr. Francis. Okay. Mr. Light Park. Good morning, Mr. Francis. Yeah. I'm the one who called you on 14th of last this month. Okay. Yeah. As you, the advice you gave to me, I pick it up. Okay. Because she will call me, asking me, asking me, did I have any money? Let us go to a DNA test. Let us know. I'm the one who complained to you, a woman who told me who give birth to twins for me. Oh. Mr. Francis, please, please, please try and call me back, okay? Try and call me back. Um, all right. Hello? I guess I lost that as well. Hello? Hello, good evening. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, my good is Baba Tunde. Okay, good morning, Baba Tunde. Yeah, I really enjoy the program. This is my first time calling, and this is my first time listening to the program. Oh, so I have a new comma. Thank you for listening, Baba Tunde. I hope you enjoyed the yeah. show. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. And it's really enlightening to understand that you only take a step to your marriage. 
Shout out to Kawi. I see the string to go in. All right. Thank you for so, calling. But I have this expression that uh, we young guys of now, we all, we all do uh, making sex, not making love. <laughs> because we have this thing back we, of my mind that we already have something extra ordinary to use for ourselves to satisfy our sexual instincts. I don't understand. But tonight, uh, we young guys of now, they would like to go a challenge okay. in making sex, not love. Okay. But by blessing to the program tonight, make me to answer that. You understand? For doesn't. But making love means that it's someone that you're really in love with. Yeah. Care yeah. For it's beyond the physical. Really yeah, so it's All right. Just sex. Thank you, Baba Tunde. I really the program. Yeah, thank you so much for calling, Baba Tunde. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, good morning, Tolu. To good morning, sir. Tolu and Mecca speaking. All right. To Tolu, yes, sir. Wait, you are a genius. Oh. <laughs> now if you are making you me to can't blush. can't win in the football pitch, <laughs> win, 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 on your, win in your bed. All right. Yes, <laughs> Do you know? If, hello. I'm with you. Do you know if you lose in your bed? Yeah. That is in your bed. If you lose in your bed, you are as good as nothing. I agree with you. Do you know my major problem is food and sex? Mm. I like sex so much mm. more than anything in this world. Wow. And that is why I succeeded in reprogramming my wife. You understand me? Yeah. That is why I succeeded in doing that. And everybody and, could do and, that. And I, I tell people know. that what they are looking for in Sokoto, it's in there. I mean, yes, it's yes. there. But my wife was not as good as that. It was me that reprogrammed her. Right. Do you know, before I, before I got married, even till now, how will I have sex with condom? I hate that condom. Hmm. I hate it. I don't use it. <laughs> well, it's good. <laughs> people like you, are supposed to be lecturing couple in marriage course. Mm -hmm. Do you mm -hmm. know, Tolu? Yeah. If you lecture in marriage course, do most couple, maybe half of the couple, will not go ahead to marry their their, their husband or their wife. Mm. They will break the marriage mm. because they will know that they are going nowhere. <laughs> not what they are doing in churches. Mm. People don't Tolu, understand. They don't. No, not that people, people don't, don't understand. understand. They don't tell them anything. What they teach them there is eight, over eighty percent prayers. Mm. That is what they teach them. Mm -hmm. But if you lecture people in marriage courses before you finish lecturing them, some of the men will not marry the couple. <laughs> but of them my job is to work. make sure their problem is no, solved. <laughs> you, you, you told them the realities of yeah. life. Yeah. You know, yeah. in this part of the world called Nigeria, most of us. Are not real human beings. Mm. We are not real. How do you Look mean? Look at the way we talk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I agree with Somebody that. Somebody will be talking to you. You think that that is what he is. Mm. Come closer to him. He will mm. finish you up. Mm. Mm. We, 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 I don't know. Mm. Thank you so Nigeria much, Mr. Nika. Has <laughs> not started. We, Thank Nigeria you. Has we, are, we have started. a very long way to go. We have no, a long way. No, not very long way to go. We have a very long way to start. <laughs> okay, to start. <laughs> yes, it's true. We've, we've not started. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Mix, Tolu, mix with people. Like, Tolu, where I walk, mm. you know, most times, like I'll be traveling tomorrow. I'll be going to Bayasa mm. tomorrow. Like most times, when we have jobs, you know, it is not your staff that be working. We mm. employ people from outside. Mm. Tolu, if you see character of Nigerians, mm. you, 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 you wait. All right, Mr. Emeka, I, I need to Thank let you, you go now. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I always enjoy it when you call on this show because, I mean, these are things, these are realities. These are things we are facing and no one is actually talking about them. All right? Hello? Hello, Dr. Tolu. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, my name is Joseph. Right. Coming from Ikota Estate. Okay. <laughs> That's yes, very, thank you. very, very... You are just my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's by the one by Mega Chicken, right? 
And no, <laughs> let me know. Let me know. <laughs> okay. uh, all right, but you're my neighbor. <laughs> okay, that's cool. The, the thing is that what you this the topic today is actually the truth. What you said, everything you said is actually the truth because mm. I've, experience, I've experienced it. I've experienced the sex and actually the love making. Mm, mm. What other things you said about love making is really true. Without love, having love for somebody, you can't actually make love. Mm. You just be you just be sexing. Mm. You know, I had this my girlfriend. We really had made had love. You know, this very strong love and oh, made love. I really understood that it's really it different. different. Just, yeah. Yes, yeah. it's quite different. It's you know totally, that totally. everything you said is just exactly it. and that vulnerability is mm. always there because mm. you because of love, the mm. trust is there. Yeah. So you yeah. are open. Yeah. You see everything yeah. that happens to you, everything that happens to her, without you are holding anything it, back. Without holding one thing back. Yeah. And you find out that when you are making love, it's actually hundred percent. You know, yeah. even after making love we can, the mouth will just be coming there yes. for like Two, three minutes. I agree with you. <laughs> As in, I in fact, it's in it. so, it's so, in fact, I, I thank you for this uh, message. And I pray that people will try to work towards um, love, having love for one yeah. another before they get yeah. married instead of just uh, the your the body, me- your six pack, uh, yeah. your money, <laughs> all those kind of things. Yeah. It yeah, it will be a distraction. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for calling. I appreciate it. Hello? Wow. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Good Good morning. Good morning. Doctor, I, you, your, your words are very stupendous. I, I so much love them. Thank you. I just have to tell I want to tell you, I want to ask you a question. Okay. My wife that I married. Mm-hmm. I usually make love for her, and she loves I, I'm so getting much. feedback. Maybe you want to move away from your radio or put it off. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, okay now. Yeah, okay now. I so much loved her so much that she always feels me. And anytime I'm not around, anytime she sees me, I come home, she always hugs me. Hmm. But we well, you know what really wonders me is she came one day and told me that her time has reached. That we are not going to be having her baby again. Having... And she doing it again. I don't understand that, that you are not going to be... To be having sex again, coming together as we used to be. You're not going to be having sex again. Yes. She loved me so much, and I loved her so much. Okay. She always called me beautiful. Anytime she sees me. But do you know what? This lady has given me three children. Mm. One day she stood up and told me, not going to be doing it again. That time has reached. I said, what does she mean by time has gotten up her? Mm. Any time I want to have this sex with her, she will refuse. She says she has told me. If I sit on the bed, she will sleep on the floor. And it, she will get, even give me time when I will be with her. And the evening, when the time comes, around one o'clock, when I call her, she will fool me. She will be so serious, so furious. Her, her eyes will be so red. That she has told me. She loves me, but uh, if she's having it with me, she, she always she, she always goes through, through uh, uh, agony. But I will not understand. Okay, so to... so why don't you tell her to make you understand? Do you know what the I, problem is? In fact, if I ask her, since I've been speaking with you, I'll be asking her to just tell me, if I continue, she will die. I should take her just like a maid. I, I say I cannot understand her for goodness. So what step have you taken to solve this problem? To be frank with you, I'm going to tell the parents hmm. what is really happening. They will call her. Hmm. She will tell them that they should leave her alone, that the, 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 the two of us will settle. I call the elder brother, the elder brother comes, and he says he, sh- he should not put mouth, that he settle it. My children will ask her, what is going on, mommy? 
Just leave. Your father is a nice man. He does not do me anything bad. But I cannot continue. This is not con Sorry, I lost that. I lost that. I lost that. But I think I've gotten the message. I could feel your pain, actually. I could feel, feel it right from here. But I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this to all of you that are listening to me. You are getting it all wrong. If it's in a, I don't like to say this, but that's the right thing to, I mean, if it's a sane society. In fact, your, your office, your place of work, even if you are a, if, if you are a gardener, or you are, you are a, a, a messenger, or you are a gate man, your place of work, we have a therapist or a counselor that visits even if it's once a month to help you to deal with issues like this. Because, you know, most of these companies understand that your productivity depends. You can imagine this kind of man. Tell me. Tell me how this man can be. This man is, 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 is sober. He can never be performing at his peak. And I could tell you a lot. I don't want to say most, but so many. So many people, not just men. Both men and women are like this man. And you come to, and they are coming to work and the company is complaining why are they not, not performing? Because these people have serious relationship issues that need to be sorted out. You know, we have a program in my office we call MWEP. You know, you know we, we visit companies, some companies, once a month. And then we deal with issues like the sexual relationship. So far, it has to do with your relationship, things you can't talk to anybody about. Now, the point here is, in this part of the world, I don't get it. Even, the, you see, like I said, it's, it's in a sane society, people have access to counselors. As you don't even, they, you don't even need to have money to do. The government make provisions to it. Your insurance make provisions to it. Your health insurance make provisions for it. We are not even there. We are not there. And that is why, when I see issues like this, I get so worried. Imagine this kind of problem. And what have you done? She ha he has called the parent. I mean, your wife, you are having sexual problem. You are calling the parent. What would they do? To come and tell her to lie down so that you and bring your penis and put inside. Sorry if you sound that, if you sound harsh. But that's a, that's a problem. You need to talk to a sex therapist. You, do, you are not going to talk to your pastor. You are not going to talk to families. You need to talk to a sex therapist. Because what is bothering, and, and funny enough, most of the time, it's either people don't know what their problem is, or, because I know if people are listening, they say, ah, it's spiritual, that's the next, I mean, Nigerians are always looking for easy way out. The easiest, the easiest way is to blame the devil. Oh, it's one wish somewhere. It's one. Most of these issues, I'm not against, I mean, I understand that, I mean, sp the spiritual controls the physical, but most of these issues are physical. And women won't talk. In this part of the world, I know there is a conspiracy of silence. Women don't want to talk because if they talk, it won't understand. You see, now three years, you've been married for 10 years, 15 years. She has never complained. I've never enjoyed sex with you. It's always paining me when you make love. And then she will now wake up one day and tell you, oh, yeah, lick me. The man will say, are you, where did you get, hey, where did you get that from? And because of that, women would rather keep quiet. All right? So, parents, I've said it all. Family. That is not the solution to your issue. The solution is to talk to a professional. And for those of you that are listening to me, that are battling with sexual issues like this, keep, keep calling friends and family. Keep calling pastor to pray for you. Pray, pray, pray. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know because this thing is actually, it's a big issue. And this is my last call for tonight. Um, plenty, plenty. I take this one. Hello? Hello? Oh, and it became clearer, uh, and I actually cut the call because I was finding it difficult. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good yeah. morning. Good morning. Oh, are you a are you a woman? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why women, ladies. Why are you not calling? <laughs> All right. So you are my last caller. Let's make this oh, happy. I'm so so much happy to reach you this night. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I want to like say a very big thank you to you. You are really, really trying for us here. Yeah. And thank God you. will continue to reward you back. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Um, I want to have you a vital question, and I will need you to please help me out with this. Please. Okay. Yeah. I'm in a relationship with a like, 
got presently right now. And my partner, each time I try to discuss about her sexual, as in, though we hadn't had sex before until the day of our marriage. Okay. But he refused me each time I tried to talk about sex, sex, of a thing. He said, no, he doesn't want to go there. She doesn't want to go there at all. Hmm. Then my question is this. I remember some time ago when we started at first, when we do like discuss so much about our ex-life and the life, he remember her telling me something that he doesn't like it. Uh, when a guy with a big penis or something like that, he wants it more. As in, like, oh, like asking her, why, why would you say such a thing? He said he doesn't just like it. Um, okay, so know. you need to make this snappy. Let, let me, I mean, conclude this. She doesn't like sex. Okay, let me see if I can answer that. She doesn't like sex. You didn't get, you got married. You never had sex before you got married. And after getting married, she tells you she doesn't like sex. I don't want it. And now, in fact, you are a step further. You have known the reason why she doesn't like it because she felt you are too big. I mean, you see, people that, but. <laughs> I could answer this. I mean, this is uh, my time, but this is actually, but I will do this and I will sign out. Now, this is it. Now, being big, women are looking for it, right? But I actually tell people a lot of time, it is not about the size. Size matters, but it's not all that matters. It is not about the, it is not about the size. It's more of the skills. Now, that said, in your case, maybe you are extra large, which I actually don't think is your problem, really. Because when I'm talking about extra like there are people like that, and I've had like two or three clients like that, in a, as in extreme, when they make love to a woman, the woman start bleeding, you know. And most of them, most time, they have delayed ejaculation. They can be there for one hour, for two hours. They won't come, you know. And they are extremely abnormally large. So for those of you that are small and you are worried, you better thank God for your life and go and learn your skills. All right. So now I don't think you actually from what the way you are talking, I don't even think you fall into that category. Your wife doesn't have understanding, no understanding. And this will, I, I'm very sure this wouldn't be far from a religious background. This would not be far from it. And, and probably ignorance and the kind of, you know, the way she was brought up and the kind of teaching she has been exposed to. And I will say it and say it over and over again. You need to see a therapist. That's the only solution to this problem. And it's on that note, I will be signing off on tonight's show. And of course, before I go, let me see if I can give you my food for thought for tonight. All right? She can help you rekindle the flames of love. The flames of love. Dr. Tolu, the fixer. All right, guys, so do not forget that you can actually follow me on Instagram. Just go to Instagram and search out for Intimate Talk with Tolu. Intimate Talk with Tolu. Facebook. And, of course, if you still have any question you want to send to me, you could inbox me on Facebook on Intimate Talk with Tolu. I will see how I can attend to your question. So search out for Intimate Talk with Tolu. And, of course, you could follow Wazobia Max and follow Nigeria Info on Facebook. We are on Twitter. We are on Facebook. And, of course, it is all about you. When it comes to Nigeria Info, it is all about making you happy. So before I go, here is my food for thought for tonight. And of course, for those of you who want to schedule a private appointment with me, all you need to do is to call me, reach me on 081-845-75377. 081-845-75377. You could DM me on Facebook or on Instagram as well. And of course, you could visit my website, intimatesolutionnetwork.com. Just the way I said it. Intimate Solution Network.com. My food for thought for tonight. Love making is much more than physical expression. It is a soulful dance, a dance of sensual wonder and euphoric amazement. Thank you for joining me tonight. And I see remain Dr. Tolu. And don't forget the comedy fixer. And I'm going to see you on Thursday. Good night. She can help you rekindle the flames of love. The flames of love. Dr. Tolu, the fixer. She's blunt.
my show. My name is Dr. Tolu. to make sure you're enjoying your sex life. I want to make sure your relationship is beautiful. This is where we build homes, mend relationships, and fix sexual issues. You sex it. Don't do it. If you do, you're going to die. If you do, you're going to get problems. I mean, you're going to get pregnant. Listen to your number one love show. In Nigeria, intimate talk with Dr. Tolu. Thank you.